It all began on a stormy night, with the rain drumming on the windows and lightning flickering like an eerie strobe light outside. I was a teacher at St. Agnes Elementary, a school with a rich history, and that night, I was there alone, grading papers in my dimly lit classroom. As I sat at my desk, lost in the monotonous sea of essays, I heard something that made my heart leap into my throat, the unmistakable sound of children's laughter echoing through the empty hallways. My first instinct was to dismiss it as a figment of my imagination, but the laughter grew louder, and I knew I couldn't ignore it any longer. I grabbed my umbrella and ventured out into the hallway, my footsteps echoing eerily with every step I took. The laughter led me to the school's old gymnasium, a cavernous room that always gave me the creeps. The source of the laughter remained unseen, yet I felt drawn to it, like a moth to a flame. As I entered the gym, the laughter ceased abruptly, replaced by an unsettling silence. The room was bathed in an eerie green glow, emanating from a flickering exit sign. Shadows danced on the walls, and the air was chillingly cold. The floor was wet, and the pungent scent of decay hung heavy in the air. Is anyone there? I called out, my voice trembling. Suddenly, the gym lights flickered to life, revealing a circle of decrepit wooden desks arranged in a sinister pattern. Each desk had a nameplate, and each nameplate bore the name of a former student. My heart pounded as I realized that these were the desks of children who had disappeared from the school decades ago. Whispers filled the room, the voices of those long-lost children. Why did you leave us? One voice pleaded, while another cried out, help us, please. Terror surged through my veins as I stumbled backward, but an invisible force kept me within that nightmare circle. The whispers grew louder, their words morphing into chilling conversations about the darkness that had consumed them. They spoke of a malevolent presence that lurked within the school, a malevolence they had awakened. I looked around, desperately searching for an escape, but the exit doors were sealed shut, and the windows were barred. The whispers continued, recounting tales of despair, of sinister shadows that haunted them, and the horrifying acts they were forced to commit. In the midst of their stories, the lights went out, plunging the gym into pitch darkness. I could feel icy fingers brushing against my skin, and the malevolent presence they had described crept closer. Panic overtook me, and I screamed as the unseen hands closed in. Just as I thought my end was near, the lights flickered back to life. The room was empty, the nameplates on the desks gone. I was alone once more, shaken and disoriented. I stumbled back to my classroom, my mind reeling from the horrors I had witnessed. The storm outside had intensified, and as I gazed out the window, I saw the spectral figures of the lost children, their hollow eyes staring at me with silent accusation. To this day, the mystery of St. Agnes Elementary School remains unsolved. It's said that on stormy nights, the laughter of those lost souls can still be heard, echoing through the hallways, and the malevolent presence continues to haunt anyone who dares to enter. The horror of that night is etched in my memory and I often wonder if I escaped that malevolence or if it merely released me back into the world to spread its terror further. The true nature of that malevolent presence, and the fate of those lost children, remained shrouded in a chilling mystery. I couldn't shake the bone-chilling experience of that night at St. Agnes Elementary. As weeks passed, I found myself obsessing over the mysterious events in that gymnasium. Unable to quell my curiosity, I began researching the history of the school, delving into old records and yearbooks. It was during my late-night research that I discovered a series of newspaper clippings from the 1950s. They told a grim tale of a tragic fire that had swept through the school, claiming the lives of several children. The incident was marked by negligence and mismanagement, and it was said that the spirits of the lost children still haunted the school, seeking justice for their untimely deaths. The articles also mentioned a custodian named Mr. Harold Grimes, who was rumored to have been the last person seen with the children before the fire. His role in their deaths was unclear, but the whispers from that fateful night in the gymnasium resonated with a sense of betrayal, as if he had been involved in some way. Determined to find answers, I began searching for information about Mr. Grimes, but all records of him had mysteriously vanished. It was as if he had been erased from history, leaving behind only the haunting memories of those who had encountered him. 
One evening, as I was scouring the dusty archives in the basement of the school, I stumbled upon an old diary. Its pages were filled with the ramblings of a custodian who had worked at St. Agnes in the 1950s. The diary belonged to Mr. Harold Grimes, and as I flipped through its brittle, yellowed pages, I realized it contained his darkest secrets. In the diary, Grimes confessed to being a member of a secret cult that worshipped a malevolent entity known as the Dark One. He detailed their rituals and sacrifices, which involved luring innocent children into the school and offering them to the entity in exchange for power and wealth. The final entries were the most disturbing. Grimes wrote about how the cult's plans had gone awry, leading to the fire that claimed the lives of the children. He described the children's cries for help, their innocence cruelly snuffed out, and how the malevolent entity had consumed their souls, leaving him haunted by their tormented spirits. Terrified by this revelation, I knew I had to confront the malevolent entity. Armed with the knowledge from Grimes' diary, I returned to the gymnasium one stormy night, determined to banish the darkness that plagued the school. As I entered the gym, the whispers began anew, but this time, I had a purpose. I recited an incantation I had found in the diary, calling upon the powers of light to confront the dark one. The room trembled, and a sinister presence coiled around me. I felt the weight of the lost children's souls, their sorrow and anger, but I persisted. With a blinding flash, the dark one manifested before me, a grotesque, shadowy figure with piercing, malevolent eyes. It screeched in agony as the light banished it, and its hold on the lost children was broken. The room fell into darkness once more, and when the lights returned, the malevolent entity was gone. The gymnasium stood empty, no longer tainted by darkness. The lost children's whispers were no longer filled with despair, instead, they expressed gratitude. With a sense of closure and peace. It was a bittersweet moment, as I felt a profound sense of relief for the lost children, but the weight of what had transpired in the school still hung heavily in the air. I left the gymnasium, filled with a mix of emotions and a lingering sense of unease. The malevolent entity had been banished, and the lost children had found some semblance of peace, yet the sinister history of the school remained. The horrors that had unfolded there, the sacrifices made, and the evil that had festered for decades, could not be easily forgotten. As I returned to my classroom, the storm outside had subsided, leaving a heavy silence in its wake. I couldn't help but wonder if the malevolent entity had been vanquished for good, or if it lurked in the shadows, waiting for another opportunity to inflict its terror upon the world. The days that followed were filled with a pervasive sense of dread. The school seemed quieter than before, as if the darkness had been lifted, but the scars of the past remained. I couldn't shake the feeling that the malevolent entity had left its mark on the place, and that it may one day return. The whispers of the lost children no longer echoed through the hallways, but their presence still lingered in the quiet corners of the school. The mystery of St. Agnes Elementary had not been completely unraveled, and the true nature of the malevolent entity remained enigmatic. In the years that followed, I kept a watchful eye on the school, always wondering if the horrors of that night would resurface. The tale of St. Agnes Elementary became a cautionary one, a reminder that even in the most ordinary of places, unimaginable horrors could lurk, and the echoes of those horrors might never truly fade away. So, my friends, remember the story of St. Agnes Elementary as a chilling reminder that the past can cast a long shadow, and that some mysteries may never be fully solved. The school's dark history and the malevolent entity that once plagued it may have been banished, but their presence still haunts the place, leaving it forever shrouded in a disconcerting mystery that continues to send shivers down the spines of those who dare to contemplate its secrets. Thanks for listening. Please like, subscribe our channel. If you have any suggestion. Please comment below. Happy listening.